I'm Brent Klein, and I'm one of the co-founders of the Van Duet brand. I'm Jared McCausland. Some call me the mad scientist. Uh, I'm and I'm kind of a um, a GM of sorts, but my real title is COO. It's a third generation business, um, starting with Klein Automotive Group. We got into the van business, and we were upfitting vans for plumbers and electricians and summer camps. I sold off a portion of the company. I kept the ability to operate regionally, but I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. I just knew that it'd been a good business to me. I couldn't run it on a national level anymore. I got a call from Jared, who was living in Valdosta, Georgia. Now Jared is my son-in-law. He said, hey, it's, uh, I've learned a lot while I'm down here. Um, you know my background. I think I could put it to use. I would like to come home and run that portion of the company. And I said, well, Jared, that's a great thought. <laughs> and he said, I know that I'm not coming to stand behind a rental counter uh, the rest of my life. Yeah. I want to do something much bigger. I know you've been there, and I want to know if you still have it in you. He came home and started, started that little van operation right out of Kansas City, Missouri. And I kept thinking, how, how do we take our daily passenger vans, and how do we basically turn them into something where I can take the market? If I built you a van to travel in, would you want this or would you want that? And he started giving me kind of just his input back. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to take a passenger van. It's perfectly fine, um, perfectly good in rental, full value, could sell it tomorrow um, kind of deal and start gutting it. So we started, started basically building it. We kind of built an idea of like what a bed frame would be. I mean, like your standard DIY, full build, two by four studs. We, we continued to research, develop, and prototype um, for another six months. So basically a first solid year developing the best possible van we could until we finally got that first van that we said, this is the one that has the quality, marine grade, it's going to look the same 10 years from now as it does today as far as what we do to it. What's crazy is, is the live van um, is actually almost an exact replica of the very first layout. Uh, over 150 vans built since and, and you know, it's, it's a matter of, you know, we've just kept with the same thing, but we just continue improving it and making it better, last longer, higher quality. What's up guys, it's Josh Van Guru here at Van Do It Adventure Vans and I wanted to take a minute and show you guys our new show van. Uh, it's what we call the live model. Really the, the thing that stands out, the newest feature we've got in here is going to be this wood vinyl flooring. Uh, we steer away from all wood and things that warp and bend and break actually and so um, and so you can put, you'll see the actual factory mounted floor seats in there. Uh, we are a Ford certified upfitter, and so uh, everything we do, we maintain all the warranties with the vehicle. A new feature here, what we call the Lagoon Pivot Table. And so it'll actually swivel and can detach and be moved around. We've got this kitchen pod. The cool thing about this, again, is it's a modular component. And so this can actually pull out and you can put your whole seating back in. It's got a fold up little stand here, so you can get an extra wing. Uh, if you had this moved, you know, say another two feet to the left, you can actually add another wing to the other side. And so you could create extra countertop space. Underneath the kitchen pod, you'll see we've got the gray water collection and the Dometic refrigerator. Uh, we have this whole system on a drawer system where you can just pull it out uh, to access pretty quickly. And you got all your, you know, refrigerator needs right there. See up here, we've got a hanging cabinet. Again, it's modular, so you can loosen these knobs and move it side to side. Uh, we also 3D print a lot of hooks like this that you'll see that can just clip right into the track. And so you'll see that nice T-slot groove right there where when it comes to wanting to you know, hang a hat or hang a bike helmet or jacket or whatever, it just clips right in. We've got the hydraulic bed. This just cranks right up. We actually put our bed platform on a fold leaf, right? And so this is this bed platform currently is six feet one inches long. Uh, we're on a super queen mattress, so it's going to be a little bigger than a queen, a little smaller than a king. Next thing up is the second hallmark of this live model, which is the gear slide. Okay, so this gets a lot of a lot of hype around it, but basically it just is this gear slide that pulls right out, um, and so basically this thing will hold about 750 to 800 pounds distributed across the platform when it's pulled out. We actually have this on a safety click about every eight to 10 inches. So you'll notice as I push it in, 
um, it'll, it'll click. And so that way, if you're on a hill and you start to pull it out, it doesn't shoot out at you and, and hit you. The electronic system is one of the hallmarks of what we do. So we use what's called Deutsch connectors. Uh, you don't need to get in there and re-solder something together. It's as simple as us sending a new part. These are what we call the rocker switch controls. Say I want to hit the DC electric switch to turn my outlet on. I'll hit it and so the lights will pop up, right? So anything in blue means it's turned on. Anything in white means it's not turned on. And so if I want to turn my outlets off, all I do is hit the DC electric to save that energy. I can turn my lights underneath the bed off, my dome ceiling lights, my blue accent lighting off. And then right here you'll see your DC electric inverter status. The only way that I foresaw us being able to get where we want to get is looking at, um, you know, automobile OEM builders. Okay, what do they do? They repeat. They do a lot of repeat, and that's how they find their problems. Um, and that's how we took the initial approach, which is we have to build our electrical system. The harness has to be the same because vans, like you go on any forum, go on anything, electrical systems, people start their DIY build and say, oh no, now I'm dealing with electrical. Um, so we wanted consistency, we wanted to find those gremlins. Not just that, but if we were going to create a support structure to help our customers, we needed to be able to know what a van is set up like if it's, you know, eight hours away from us. So we got to be able to service them from here, um, and the only way to do that was be consistent and put a ton of R&D in making those very intricate components that you don't see. Um, you know, really put the value in those components. Um, and to get there uh, really is, is, is a driving factor of, of we can't just do custom. And we also wanted it to be able to be versatile to where it, we could make features like sh shelving units and things like that be able to move from one spot to another. We had to create something that could give us a huge foundation and customizing and all the carding however you want. And that's when we came up with basically what we call our skeleton. To compare it to Chipotle, we call it more open concept and then um, a lot more, I guess, options. And then still a, a, a cl more closed concept, but still with the ability, it's still modular and still with options. So I compare that to the wrap and the, and the bolt. Once you know that foundation, then you can start working within that foundation for what you want in it. Two basic models uh, with the ability to, you know, have options within those models. What's up guys, Alan here with Van Do It Adventure Vans and I'm gonna show you the Do model. You guys have seen the Live model. This is the uh, Burrito Bowl. These beds are Murphy beds, so they can actually, if you want an open concept van on the inside, you can actually fold those beds up completely out of the way, get rid of those mattresses, and the inside of the van is completely open if you want to throw cargo in there. But if you even wanted this space right here to be able to put more seats in here, you can actually seat up to 11 people in these vans. What I would do is there's two safety pins on both sides. I actually just undo those safety pins. I can pop these panels out all together and just have a space in here without beds if you want to use it for a passenger hauler or for a cargo hauler. So this is going to be the release for the strap that holds the beds up. What's actually cool about this is you can ratchet that that to whatever height you need to so I can ratchet it up if I'm sleeping on a surface like on an area like a parking lot or wherever that's kind of sideways I can ratchet that to whatever height I need to to be able to have a flat sleeping surface so again this is the removable kitchen pod so you can actually there's two straps right there you undo those straps and you can literally take this thing out you can use it, cook outside if you want to, or you can just leave it out, put it in the garage. These are gonna be your hanging cabinets. We're using bungees, which some people are like, uh, it's, that's cheap, but we love it because you can get odd shaped things in here and just stuff a bunch of stuff in there. And it's quick and easy access. You can see it, reach in, grab it, and you're good to go. We named it the Do model because this is the van that you can really just do whatever you need to do with in it. I like to throw bikes in here, I like to throw friends in here, um, and then fold these beds up and be able to sleep on bunk beds. So this is the Do model. I hope you enjoyed it. We don't really know fully what the next step is. Growth has been great. Things have been amazing. Um, customer support, all the things, you know, we, we truly, some days it might not feel like it, but you know, the things that we truly take of massive value are the quality, the customer support, the follow-up, making sure our customers are happy with what they have. Um, that biggest piece of it and just taking care and making sure what people 
are hoping they're receiving on the day they pick up is what they're receiving. Great things grow organically. They're not forced. Um, and so, you know, it's a matter of where's this thing continue to grow? And, and we're, we're not scared to let it keep going. Um, it's a matter of does it make sense and are we ready? Jared didn't know what exactly was going to happen when he came, kind of an act of faith. And, and we, uh, you know, I certainly, I'm, I'm game. Just as when he asked me, are you open to something bigger? I am absolutely open to something bigger.